Hello folks, and welcome back to the Follity Channel. Today, we've got an exciting blend of fashion, celebrity sightings, and a profound personal journey. So grab your snacks and let's dive right in. Kendall Jenner, the supermodel sensation, has been making waves at the Paris Fashion Week. It was quite the spectacle when she graced the Victoria Beckham Spring Summer 2024 Women's Wear Show. And she wasn't alone in this fashionable adventure. Her sister, Kim Kardashian, and momager Kris Jenner were right there in the front row, alongside Kris's boyfriend, Corey Gamble. But the star-studded front row didn't end there. Vogue's editor-in-chief, Anna Wintour, joined the party, as did Victoria Beckham's family, including her husband, David Beckham, and their children. It was a family affair, and the fashion was nothing short of stunning. Chris and Kim made quite the entrance with their matching outfits, dripping in pink crystal and diamond accessories. Now, Kendall was the star of the show, closing out the Beckham event, but her younger sister, Kylie Jenner, was conspicuously absent from the front row. However, the sisters have been seen having a blast in Paris during their stay. Kendall strutted down the runway for Schiaparelli's spring-summer 2024 show, and Kylie was there to capture every moment from the front row, sharing it all on her Instagram story. And as if that wasn't enough, the Kardashian-Jenner clan enjoyed a Tuesday dinner outing in the city of love, with Kendall looking fierce in a leather corset and Kylie rocking an all-white ensemble from Sportsmax's spring-summer 2024 collection. Now let's switch gears and dive into a profound transformation story. Melissa Etheridge, the Grammy and Oscar-winning singer, experienced a life-altering event back in 2003 that changed her perspective on life forever. What was it, you ask? Well, it was a batch of particularly potent weed cookies that sparked a psychedelic trip leading to a spiritual awakening. In her new book, Talking to My Angels, she opens up about this experience and the profound insights it brought her. Melissa's journey into the inner workings of the world led her to a new mantra. Everything, even the bad stuff, is made of love and it's our choice to see it that way. This idea of choosing the light in life became more essential than ever when Melissa faced the loss of her son, Beckett, to an opioid overdose in May 2020. Despite the immense grief, she still chooses love. She shares that she can see her son's time on Earth as a period of living and learning. He taught her so much, and she finds great comfort in his non-physical presence. Melissa Etheridge's family has been a pillar of support during these challenging times. She has two children with her ex, Julie Cipher, and twins with her ex-wife, Tammy Lynn Michaels. Beckett's struggle with addiction was a battle Melissa fought alongside him, doing everything in her power to help. Writing her book wasn't something she had to do, but rather something she wanted to do, as she had always been honest and open about her life experiences. During the pandemic, she started telling stories about her journey to her wife, Linda Wallum. These conversations became the basis for her book. Melissa's belief in the power of the human mind and emotions led her to understand that she could control her thoughts and feelings. She chose not to dwell in guilt or sadness, recognizing that no one can save anyone else. The book was a healing process, helping her find peace and share her experience. But Melissa is not just sharing her story through her book, she's also sharing it on Broadway. Her show, Melissa Etheridge, My Window, combines her life stories with her classic hits. It's a deeply personal experience and she wrote it with her wife, Linda Wallum. Melissa is grateful for this opportunity and she's finding joy in the things that bring her happiness, proving that even in the face of adversity, love and positivity can prevail. And there you have it, folks, 
a tale of fashion, family, and personal growth. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for joining us today on Follity, and we'll catch you in the next one.